So there's a lot going on in Vegas right now. You've got the F1 coming up soon. And a lot of these streets are closed down and drivers are forced to take different routes. Um, Uber doesn't seem to understand that, right? In fact, they're like, ding you if you take another route, right? Well, this is the suggested route. Well, guess what? I can't go through there. They're building. They're getting ready for F1. And, and, and it's sad that Uber doesn't understand what's going on in big cities and then quickly penalizes the driver, right? So I fully, fully understand the frustrations of the Vegas drivers. I always appreciate the feedback. Always have your back here. Uh, let's jump into this um, news article. And I'm glad that a couple of drivers came forward and allowed themselves to be interviewed. As Las Vegas revs up for the next month, more road closures are being put in place in preparation for the big race. And as usual, drivers are feeling the impact. Shauna Kalafi is live at the latest major roadblock in Flamingo and Cobalt with the local <laughs> ride share drivers sharing their frustrations. Shauna. Yeah, we've been hearing these frustrations for several months as these road closures continue to progress in preparation for F1. We checked back in with rideshare drivers today, and we actually learned some new things about their frustrations. Of course, a lot of them have been telling us that they're rejecting rides that have them uh, require them to go through the strip so they can avoid the traffic. But some told us today that they can't do that too much because it actually affects their driver score on the app. One also told us that if they take a shortcut that's against what the Uber app is suggesting for them, that could actually affect their pay as well. It's, yeah, it's going worse and worse every day, yeah. As the Formula One race quickly approaches, drivers in Las Vegas are forced to detour around more roadblocks. The most recent major road closure happening at Flamingo and Koval this it's week. It's a big one. The last couple of days, most of us try to stay out of the way and off the strip which uh, Uber charge customers more, but we don't necessarily get more. Mm. And if we don't go the route that Uber suggests, they dock us for that. Rideshare driver Clarence Smith says the detour routes suggested by Uber often aren't the best option, but he says taking a faster shortcut could affect his pay. All, all the time. Every time they make you go through the construction, if you don't go through it, then again, you get docked for it. They'd be like, well, you didn't go the way that we said you're supposed to go. Uh, it's no consideration. And with road closures constantly changing as the city prepares for F1. One we'll stop it there for one second. He, some key words here, no consideration, right? There's a powerful phrase used by this driver. They have no consideration. These executives, these people that run the show have no consideration for drivers they don't understand what's going on on the streets of vegas right but they're quickly to punish right because they want the money they want to subject the drivers to these crazy conditions and um it's unacceptable drivers are having to adapt and find new shortcuts they say the flamingo coval closure is having the biggest effect on pickups and drop-offs at the airport and the uber area for pickup in the airport like 40 minutes sitting right there just you can move as for the grand prix race itself smith and some other vegas rideshare drivers say they'll be leaving their cars in park that weekend yeah i'm definitely not working there for him because um, it is it gets congested and um nobody again i i stay away from the strip mostly myself um because of the traffic you know but yeah it's very frustrating around here now, this Flamingo Cobalt closure this week is also affecting drive times approaching the strip. One of those rideshare drivers today said it was taking him 40 minutes to get from the Thomas and Max to the Bellagio. And that was when traffic was light early in the afternoon. And he's worried that it will only get worse as we get closer to the F1 race in November. Now, we also reached out to both Uber and Lyft to see if they're offering any incentives or doing anything to help these drivers out while the construction is going on. We're still waiting to hear back. We're still waiting to hear back. Uber, we're still waiting to hear back. Lyft, we're still waiting to hear back. Uber, we're still waiting to hear back. It's too embarrassing to them. They don't want to take a position here, ladies and gentlemen. Right, Vegas, fight strong. Some of the most resilient drivers in the country. Hardcore. They strike, they protest, they boycott, they're vocal. I love that about the Vegas drivers. Viva! Las Vegas, guys, keep on doing what you're doing. Expose the shenanigans to this lady, 
to this lady, to this gentleman, thank you. Gratitude for running the story. Your comments, please.